Good morning. My name is Miss Adriana and today in the Illinois Autism Partnership virtual classroom, we are going to read another book together. Remember, reading aloud is an important thing to do. It helps us with vocabulary, it helps us with expressive language, and most of all, it is a fun thing to do at home. So here we go. This is what we are going to do today. First, we'll talk about our schedule. Then we review materials, we talk about keywords, we'll read our book, and then we will wrap up. So let's get started. Reviewing the schedule is all done. If you have your printed schedule in front of you, you can check out reviewing the schedule. And we are moving on to the next step, reviewing materials. So for this read aloud lesson, we are going to read our book called The Hair Book. If you have the book, you can um, read along with me. If you do not have the book, you can just sit back, relax, and follow along with me and just listen to me reading it for you. Um, we also um, might need some markers, glue, and scissors in case you would like to finish those fun activities at the end of the lesson. So here we go. Reviewing materials is all done. I will check it off with you. All done. And the next step is talking about keywords from the book. The keywords for today are eyebrows. I have eyebrows above my eyes. Can you gently feel your eyebrows? The next one is lashes. These are my lashes. Can you feel your eyelashes? Beard. Beard grows on men's chin, neck, and cheeks. Mustache. Mustache grows under your nose on the upper lip. Whiskers. Do people have whiskers? No, just animals. We have some extra words for those students who already know the words that we talked about. What can we do with our hair? We can braid it. We can curl it. We can clip it. We can snip hair. Or we can calm hair. When do you calm your hair? In the morning or at night or in the middle of the day so these are our words you can put them in your on your word wall or cut them out and put it in the notebook so that we can keep our vocabulary together great work reviewing our keywords remember to put them on your uh, word wall all right so keywords are all done let's check it off on your schedule as well and now we are going to read our book the hair book by graham tether the hair book hair hair it's everywhere Some have little, some have lots. Plain hair, striped hair, polka dots, curls, and braids, and beards, and lashes. Look at those long lashes. Whiskers, eyebrows, long mustaches. Dark hair, fair hair, wig hair, bare hair, 
everybody seems to wear hair. So many different kinds of hair. Lambs have woolly coats to wear. Pigs have bristles, they don't care. And porcupines have quills, that scares. With hair, there is so, so much to do. Wash it, dry it, braid it, dye it. Look at the red colored hair. Curl it, clip it, comb it, snip it. Do you snip your hair? Now, who snips your hair? Mommy or the hairstylist. That's true. We don't cut our hair. And think of the things that you could do if your hair just grew and grew and grew. You could make a letter with your hair or be the maple at the fair. Now, that is silly. Could we really make a letter out of your hair? No. No. And if you grew a long goatee, you could use your hair to water ski. Now that is really silly too. Fish and snails, do they have hair? No. 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 Not one hair, not anywhere. Be glad you are a, you are not a fish or a snail. Be glad you are not a hairless whale, a frog, a turtle, or a snake. Enjoy your hair for goodness sake. She's combing her hair in front of the mirror. Plain hair or dyed, loose or tight curly or straight. Hair is great. Where are these people? In a hair salon. In a hair salon. They are getting their hair snipped and dried. Ooh, look at all this hair. Which one is your favorite? My favorite hair is the red dyed hair. Red dyed hair. My favorite hair is the long wavy hair. And that's the end. Reading a lesson or reading a book is all finished. Let's check it off. Oh, the schedule. And now it's time to wrap up. We learned a lot today. We read about different kind of hair and we also read about all those different things that you could do with your hair. This was a fun book. I hope you like it. Why don't you find out someone in a house and go and share this book with? And also be sure to check out all those fun activities at the end of the lesson that we have created for you. And that will be it for today. Wrap up is all done. Let's check it off on your schedule. And we are done. Thank you very much for joining me at the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom today. And make sure that if you finish some of those worksheets, please share it with us at the Easter Seal Chicago Facebook page, hashtag virtual classroom. Thank you very much again. I am Miss Adriana. Please make sure you check our other videos. We are posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I am Miss Adriana. Happy learning.